Howdy, Tab Nation. I don't know why I just flipped you guys off. Um, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be talking about how to clean your hard drive. Uh, there's obviously multiple programs, but we're going to be looking at WizTree here because I like it. Um, there's a bunch out there. If you guys have a favorite one that you've used that's kind of like this, you know, let me know in the comments below. Maybe always do a video on those too. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If we hit 30, I'll always expand on stuff like this. Um, yeah. Basically, this is... Uh, you can go to your settings in your computer, go to applications and programs, and, you know, view all the executables, basically, that you have on your computer. Uh, and it'll show you, like, the name and, you know, how much space it's taking up, stuff like that. But this is a more, like, in-depth dive. So you're going to push download. Obviously, this will be in the description below, but it's called uh, DiscAnalyzer.com, and yeah. <clears throat> so I got it here. I got it already installed. You go just through a normal install process. So we're going to go ahead and launch that. We're going to click yes, because it is going to be accessing a lot of files. Let's resize this a little better. And so this is the screen we got. Obviously, they have a donate button, because it is free, but hey... Uh, if you're feeling generous, definitely donate to them or donate to me because you like this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so up here we're going to start with selecting our hard drive. Um, we're just going to do, you know, we got my C drive um, and I got a bunch of other hard drives that are uh, in my computer because I have one for media, I have one for games, one for photos. Yeah, I went a little crazy. Um, but we'll just stick with the default C drive. Uh, we're going to push scan. And, you know, depending on how much stuff you got, how big your hard drive is, that kind of how the speed of it is, depends on, like, kind of how long this is going to take. Uh, so there it goes. It took a few seconds to kick in, and it kind of lagged my computer there for a second. Uh, but it's going. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's see, so telling you how many folders and how many files. Obviously, there's going to be a lot, especially with the operating system and... Every program you have probably has like a hundred folders and files in it. Um, but it did it pretty quick. Uh, you know, this is a half of a terabyte, almost uh, hard drive, 425 gigabyte hard drive is my main hard drive. All my hard drives, I think, are a terabyte or half a terabyte or at least close. <clears throat> and here's our results. Um, so you got a few uh, options here. Yeah, nice little pretty graphs, uh, kind of colorful and Kind of a bit of mess, but you can hover over. You know, you can see, uh, you know, I got something here. I got Oculus, you know, the gaming system, the VR. Uh, you can hover over that, see which, you know, things within that section are taking up the most space. So that's taking up 31 gigabytes of my hard drive. And this one is, oh, it's a game called Robo Recall. That's taking up 9 gigabytes on my hard drive. That's interesting. Uh, oh, it's because all my other video games are on my other hard drive. I was wondering how that's the only game showing up here, and it's only 9 gigabytes. So my Oculus games, are, I guess, are installed on my main hard drive. So, hey, if I need 9 gigabytes, there's Robo Recall. Because the thing is, if I go to my system settings, go to applications, Robo Recall will actually not show up as an option. Only Oculus will, and it includes all the games. And it's really annoying because then I have to go into the actual o Oculus application to delete the games from there. But this would allow me to see which games across the board without having to open, you know, Steam, stream, uh, Steam uh, Epic, Oculus. So it's just a much better way. And then uh, my favorite is just the main section here. You got a bunch of stuff. Obviously, my program files are taking up a lot of space just because that's where a lot of my stuff is. So, there you go. Epic Games is taking up 63% of my program file space. We can get a little bit more. Fortnite. I don't actually play Fortnite. Um, I'm playing Lego Fortnite. That's why that's on there. But you can see, you know, Fortnite game. You just keep going and going. 100, PAX, 100%. Just, yeah, I mean, we can really break it down. So I could sit here and say, you know what? This is taking up too much space on my computer. It's taking up 57 gigabytes. And maybe I'm done playing. I don't want it. Like, 
I don't play Void Train anymore, and that's taking up 40% of that. It's taking up 36 uh, space. So we could click on it and then right click. And oh, we just get a normal menu. I'm trying to remember how to do this. But yeah, you can see more information, all that, and this is going to tell you where it is so that you can go delete it, um, that kind of stuff. Not sure why you can't delete from there. Apparently not. Do, 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 do. So I guess you gotta go find the file. Um, but you can always say copy path. Open up your uh, explorer and paste it here. <clears throat> and here's the game. It's taking up a lot of space, so I can go back one. And I could sit here and then say delete from here. So I could drag it to my trash uh, recycling bin or right click and go down to delete. So it's up to you. But it's just a really good way to uh, clean your computer up, to dive a little bit deeper. You don't have to open like 10 applications to delete stuff that only show up in that application and not in your system settings. Um, yeah, uh, over here, uh, we got extension types. Um, you know, this is also showing you kind of what you got going on. I got PAX files is taking up the most space. Those are video games, uh, Oculus, I believe Epic is also PAX. Uh, it's the file types they have a lot of space in. But yeah, you can see what's taking up a lot of space. Surprise, Auto Hotkeys is not showing up here because I've got like hundreds of scripts, but I guess they're really small, so they don't even show up on here. You can sort by, um, you know, alphabetize. Um, obviously, it's going to put different things in the front, numbers. kind of want to see if I can find auto hotkeys, but apparently not. Wow, that's a lot of ones that start with numbers. Oh, there it is. Hey! Oh, it's not even register. It has, it's 10 megabytes. That's insane. I got like 100 scripts, and it's only taking 10 megabytes. I would have thought way more. Good for you, auto hotkeys, and being a very lightweight programming language apparently uh, you can sort by percentage um, obviously oh, we got to go all the way back up sort the other way so yeah and then you know you can see the size here that kind of stuff um, here you can export file types to a CVS for some odd reason I'm not sure why you'd want to do that but hey to each his own um, all right <clears throat> Yeah, like I said, if you guys have uh, one that's kind of like this that you guys like, there's obviously tons of them out there. This is just the one I've been using lately. I go through phases where I've used different ones. Uh, hit 30 likes. Let me know in the comments below. I'll pick some that I think are good ones and uh, do some more follow-up videos. Maybe I'll even eventually do a tier list where I just say, like, hey, like, Here's all the videos of the ones I did. Here's what I rate them at. So, yeah, let me know, guys, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye!